Hello? Chief of Police, Samuel Bax. Is that correct? That's me. How am I speaking with right now? You're speaking with Timothy. Hey, Timothy. How can I help you? A conversation would do. Somewhere private. Okay. Uh, ping 368. I'm in the lobby. I can see you through see. the doors. Oh, wow. Okay. You want to talk to Mr. PD in private or... Sure. Wherever you're okay. most comfortable. All right. Sounds good. All right. Mm hmm. Goodbye. Hello, sir. You're here to see the chief. I am. Wonderful. Would you mind if I gave you a quick frisk to see if you have any weapons on your person? Go ahead. He also let him know that the deputy mayor is here to see him. Yes, ma'am. He's, uh, as you can understand, he busy. is as busy as ever. Uh, you appear to have a bulge on you, sir. Do you have a weapon on your person? I don't believe I do. You mind if I just give you a quick search? Go for it. Is it possible for your security case to conceal a weapon? I promise you there's no weapon inside. Okay, dear King. Come with me, sir. I'm gonna mute alerts for my crew. Hello, sir. I'm Sam Bass. Nice to meet you. I figured as much. Like your uh, tuxedo looks really good. Must be Thank expensive. You. Can't say the same Inside. about your salmon exterior, but. Oh, no, it's from Walmart. It's fine. Anyways, um, hey, would you like a drink? Uh, I got some it's whiskey salmon right here. salmon in color, not location. It's pink salmon. Would you like a drink? Sure. Are you here to make a PD complaint? No. Okay. Have a seat. Have a seat. So let me guess. You're down here because somebody did something to you out there. My one of my office was fucking around. Uh, you're not happy, so you're making a complaint. No. I have uh, okay, no complaint, all right. Just information. Information, okay. What kind of information? Life changing information. Hmm. It's that serious. Yes. There's something okay. going to be conspiring. Well, it may be a conspiracy to many ears. But I'm here to confirm any lingering suspicions. I've been recruiting people in this city. Under lock and key, they have sworn privacy and discretion as a means of survival. However, the person I work for is known as the front man. I don't like him. I don't agree with his decisions. So, I'm coming to you now with a proposal. You're going to come into the games and expose him for what he is. You're going wow. undercover, under aliases which I will establish to you. You will have a team a team of eight, including you. Once you've given me the names, I will give you guys the cards, as well as the aliases you'll be portraying. So am I picking the alias, or you're picking the alias? I will be picking the aliases because you're okay. replacing other invitees. Now, with all due respect, okay, you walked into my office and you told me all this information why should I trust you? How do I know I'm not walking into a trap? How do I know what you're telling me right now is the truth? Perhaps this shall entice you a bit. What is this? I just see a bunch of figures on it. They're basic shapes, Bass. Right. It's the Circle fundamental the shapes of square. mathematics, right? Huh. But on the back is a number. 
That is your number. You see, each person in this game has been given a number in a card. One that I've been enforced to instruct that they must keep hidden, keep secret and safe. That nobody would hear of, especially you. Is Timothy, is your actual name or is that your alias? It's an alias. Timothy, if I want to work with you, there's got to be some sort of transparency, right? I'm not trying to ask for a lot here. But if I want to risk my life and seven other officers, they're going to go deep on recovering to whatever conspiracy you're talking about. I need at least some sort of foundation of truth or something to back it up. I need something. <clears throat> because if, I, if, I, if I'm, if I'm going there blind without much and I'm going to get trapped or I'm going to get, um, I don't know, I don't know what's going to happen out there. There's a lot of people tend to trick cops into doing things they want and as soon as they're done with that um, they get rid of them so it's just there's a past there's a lot of history so uh, i i want to help you i do want to help you actually i just want a little bit more information that's all it is i don't know if you can provide that or not that i can we've recruited upwards to almost a hundred people holy we'll be shit transporting all of them to a remote location, an island, far from here, outside the confines of Los Santos Law. You see there, there will be games that are played. What kind of games are we talking about? They can be simple games. Children's okay. games, usually. <sighs> what happens if, um... If they lose? What ha if you lose the game, yes. You lose your life. What? Yes. <laughs> You're joking, right? No. I wish I was, which is why I'm coming to you. What kind of twisted, sick individual would do this? That would be the front man. So the you're one telling that I'm me. trying to expose is corruption. This man that you're calling the front man. He's ruined what it initially was for. And what was it initially for? What's your justification trying to, I don't know, get rid of this front man? What is he trying to accomplish? These games were meant for fun. However, over time. His sadistic mannerisms have overpowered the regulations. It's become a little corrupted. Mm. He finds joy in seeing death. When more is on the line, people are willing to risk more, sacrifice more, whether it be Absolutely. friends, family, all for the sake of entertainment. Better. Wow. What happens if you win the games? You win millions of dollars. You see, people place bets on certain contestants. That's why they're all given numbers. Much like animals to the slaughterhouse. Jesus Christ. So this, you tell me people are betting on certain individuals to win the games? Yes. And if these people lose the games, they die? Well, that's only a new introduction. <sighs> wow. I didn't die before, which is why I'm coming to you now. Let me ask you this. So, can there be multiple winners in this game or no? There can only be one. Hmm. So what you're telling me is I'm about to grab myself and seven eight officers, go undercover and be part of the games? In a sense, yes. Isn't that dangerous? Isn't everything you do dangerous? You risk your life every day for the sake of perseverance of justice mm. and peace. And I'm coming to you now telling you that over a hundred of Los Santos's finest people 
could die. Do you want to have that on your conscience? I don't. How do I stop the games? Or is that something I'm supposed to figure out when I get there? That'll be something you'll have to figure out once you arrive. However, I will be there, and I'll try my best. We do a mortgage, we take this back to channel one. You see, these games, they're led on one core principle, fairness. Nobody is given an unfair advantage. However, for you, I may be able to give you clues before each game to give you a chance to persevere, as well as information mm. of where the front man might be. <sighs> Fuck. This sounds super serious. It never stops in this city, does it? No. Wow. Uh, I feel like you dropped a big bomb on me here, Timothy. And, I did. Uh, I'm risking you know what? a lot here coming to you now. Even you giving you that card. Fame. Just bringing the dagger closer to my heart. Why don't we leave it to a, a flip of a coin? Decide the fate of eight officers going undercover. Do you make your own luck? Ah, <sighs> You know, sometimes in life, it's good to be lucky than good. Because luck is needed to succeed, right? Every now and then. It might be the difference between life and death. It all comes to chance. I took a chance on you. If you tossing a coin is taking a chance on me, then so be it. All right. What would you like? Heads or tails? Heads. All right. To get heads, I'll say yes. If you get tails, I'll say no. Oh, look at that. Heads. It's like I gave him those coins. I'm in. <laughs> Meta on Lock Boys. I gave him those coins so I knew it was going to be heads. I'm <laughs> freaking genius. Well, I guess you need to start getting this roster ready. Yep. How soon do I have? What's, uh, what's the timeline looking like? The sooner the better. Okay. How about I have it by you Monday? You and seven others. Monday's okay, Monday. Nine. All right. Contact me then of the seven people on Monday, and then Tuesday we'll have a meeting. Sounds good. Or some day in the following week. I'll email All right, you. I'll bring... All right, we'll do. I wish I could give you more information, and I feel bad. However, there's one more thing I can hook you up with. You see this card? It's special. The one I have. Yes, however, I'm going to give you a device. Okay. It's a special VPN. You're going to need it. Take a look at your card and flip it over. Once you've done so, the microchip embedded within it has been activated. You can then pull out your phone and remote connect to your PC back home. I You'll see. be able to paste the link. And with this VPN, they won't know it's from you. Then I can play it off as you being one of the contestants. I see. The camp pinpoint is coming from me. Makes sense. Okay. You can join it now. Uh, hold on. Just don't put it in a document or anything stupid. You're in. Well, find your seven other officers. I really hope what back to me. you told me today is true. And I hope I'm not going in there and um, throwing away seven other lives, including myself. I believe you won't. You're smart, crafty, hmm. mildly yeah. intelligent, which is saying a lot for this city. 
Trust me. Thank you. I've recruited Thank almost a hundred people. You'd be surprised how many can't count by twos. I believe or you. Or even flip a card over. Yeah. Sometimes it's the simple stuff that people miss. Indeed. Okay, I'll get to it though. Good. Now I gotta go out there and shoot some bad guys who are holding out inside of a morgue, a hospital. Do what you have to do. I'll walk you out. Thank you for meeting with me. Oh, thank you for your time, Timothy. I'm glad. The odds were in my favor. If not, I would have made sure. Yeah, that well. You'd see. I'm one mistake. tough son of a bitch, okay? You're about to find out. I hope so. Because what mm -hmm. you're going to endure is something you've never experienced before. Well, I can't wait for it. In fact, I look forward to it. Take care, Timothy. Stay safe. Goodbye. For now.